Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I forgot to show off the ship a little bit more. Remember that I said the ship had those static screen holes all over the place that were, got repaired as you got energy spheres? Yeah, the ship is in perfect condition again, as you can tell. Uh, you probably noticed that if you were going in and out of this place. Anyway, that's the Ninja Dojo, and this is the scope shot. I'll be doing both of those, I think, hopefully in this part. I'm not sure, it all depends how long it takes them to do that. I know how to play. You just take the Wii Remote and you swing as the target goes past your cursor. And your, of course, aim is the bullseye. And any misses, what'll happen is you automatically lose. So your objective really is if you want to, like, supposedly 100% the game, if you can call it that at this point. <laughs> is to uh, just get through all these, including level 3. And both Ninja Dojo and Scope Shot have... Uh, they're gonna actually give me... I mean, make me do some practice anyway. Dang it! <laughs> Alright. Then you swing the Wii Remote as it gets or passes that cursor, and there you go. Alright, target one. Here we go. It'll be simple. But I'm not very good at getting bullseyes. I'll, I'm just gonna say that right now. Even though I got one on my first try, but that was like the easiest target. <laughs> but you'll see they get trickier as you go along. Uh, they actually get humorously tricky, actually. You will see. Oh, I got in the red, though. Boop. Next one! You see, these don't take very long per round, but it's all about the timing. Perfect scores are rare, if not impossible. Nah, I'm sure someone got a perfect score before. People are like that when it comes to ga their gaming perfection ways. Well, some people are. <laughs> like, you know, you got a bouncy target there that you got to look out for. They do stuff like that to throw you off. So just make sure that you're only swinging the Wii Remote when the target goes across those cursor. I mean, well, that one cursor. Oh. <laughs> and that's level one. Really? That was it. But it gets a lot funnier in later levels. Wah! Level 2! Uh, unless it's just called 2 stars or something like that, I don't know. Change level, and yeah, I'm still pointing the Wii Remote at the TV, so what was once right is now down, since you're playing with this one-handed. Just keep that in mind, just thought I would explain that a little bit with menu controls. Okay, now there is 7 targets. Get ready to ninja. Whoa! The first one is always the easiest because it like stops in the middle of your cursor. It seems to play off human reactions, so to speak. Oh. Yeah, that's really it for this mini game. You just have to keep trying until you get all the targets in one run. Oh, I got a bullseye! But it's not actually a perfect hit. Perfect hits are 100. I think. Because <laughs> I noticed that there's different values depending on how close you get. Whoa! That was a close one. I mean, that, that I almost missed it. Target 5. Stay alert. Oh boy. Oh, I see the pattern. They're going to turn it around and then go up. Yeah. Like that. Alright. Well, I think I hit it. Oh! That was pretty far off. <laughs> oh, we're getting serious now. Look at that atmosphere. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah! <laughs> not a perfect bullseye. See, it, see how the score varies there? So it's not... It's like the closer you get to the actual perfect center, the better your score is. Alright, next one. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to do this all in one shot without failing. I can do the scope shot without failing, without much trouble. But this one, it sometimes gets me. <laughs> this one's got ten targets. Prepare your ninja. Oh, yeah. See, I told you, the first one is always the easiest. And that was, indeed, the perfect 100. Well, plus the bonus of, you know, 30 for the bullseye. So I guess technically 130 is the highest. 
but I'm, I'm just saying like in terms of what you're aiming for as the absolute best score the 30 is just a bonus for getting inside the yellow circle you know the center bullseye oh dear suspense is killing me oh no no and you see once you lose you really lose <laughs> You only got one shot, and if you accidentally throw your shuriken, you're screwed! Like, if you throw it too far ahead of time, you don't get a second chance. So make sure you keep your hand nice and steady, and only twitch it when you're about to throw. <sighs> yeah! See, I just always seem to get a bullseye on the first one, but that's about it. Everything else is inconsistent. <laughs> if I played this game enough, I, I'm sure I would be able to get more than I am now. But alas, this is only the second time I've actually played through this. <laughs> it's it's a new release. Hey, don't don't kill me. <laughs> That's very similar to uh, the final one of the beginner, uh, you know, level one tests of sorts. Now it's raining. Oh my! It could be a slippery slope for my shuriken to stick inside it. Oh my god! No! My shot was blocked. Curse you, Gordos! Curse you! <laughs> I twitched a little bit too far ahead of time. <sighs> I hope this isn't going to cause me a lot of trouble. Alright, here we go. Yep, I'm ready to ninja. <sighs> I don't know why I'm cutting this. I mean, I don't know why I'm not cutting this out, actually. <laughs> I guess maybe to show off things. I think actually the targets vary, like randomly, in the uh, the patterns that they have. So that's what kind of throws you off a little bit. Well, or at least it throws me off. Probably won't throw some people off. Oh, <laughs> perhaps I shouldn't be talking as much as I'm playing this to keep my concentration on the bullseyes. Please, no gordos. I took it safe that time. <laughs> See that one, that time it came from the right and not the left, but the pattern was exactly the same. It was just mirrored. Always, always must be alert. Whoa, I almost hit the other ones. That was a little dangerous. A little bit dangerous there, Hal Laboratory. Hmm. What the? I think I had no other choice but but to get a bullseye for that one, <laughs> because it would have ninja out of my uh, crosshairs. <laughs> yeah, that was another one that was a thing that you have to react to, and you're pretty much guaranteed a bullseye. Well, I'm sure you could hit outside of it, but still. <laughs> oh wow. That's the first time I ever got three in a row. I should really play this game more. <laughs> it, it gives you the heebie-jeebies. You know, trying to react to something! Oh. <laughs> Final target, baby! I believe it's a massive one. No. Mm. Ah, I'm just hitting it there. <laughs> Well, there's, there's one that is like a really, really large target. I was expecting it to happen somewhere along the lines here, but it just didn't happen. It's a, I mean, it covers the entire screen. It's hilarious. That was pretty good. Half of them were bullseyes. All right, time to quit. Time to go over to scope shot. Yep, switch the Wii remote back around so that you can control as you were before in good old side-scrolling Kirby mode. And scope shots! Start! I know how to play. Please don't teach me how to play. You're teaching me how to play, aren't you? <laughs> and you can just shoot by pressing the A button and charge it by holding the A button. Think like Samus's charge shot of sorts. And you also want to shoot things before they get to you to protect yourself to be able to keep shooting and kill the enemy before time runs out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I know I got the wrist, wrist strap on. 
I will not risk the cameras. Anyway, aim towards the thing, and press A. Now what you want to do is dismantle the robot, per se. So, you can shoot it like that and you'll see pieces will start to come off. And listen to the music, by the way. Yep, boss music from Kirby Superstar, and I'm just going to be charge shotting stuff like that to show you. You can also shoot Kablua there in the background. He's not a boss, but he's there to give you points if you want to. <laughs> and he crashes and burns if you kill him. I believe there's also a uh, Dubior um, boss that flies into the background. You know, that little um, alien guy? No missile. No missile. I will not be bested by a Waddle D tank. I need to shoot better. <laughs> I should probably be shooting my shots, I mean charging my shots to speed things up. No, do not do that. Do not do that, please. I would like to just keep killing you safely. Thank you. Must pick apart pieces. Just one piece left. Yes, and the weak point is exposed. And then you just shoot it and it's dead. <laughs> Needless to say, the first one was the easiest. My accuracy was that bad? <laughs> I mean, I know I was just randomly mashing the A button, and, but I was, I was still shooting at the thing. Maybe it counts, like, only when you hit a piece that you can demolish. Oh, and you can also point at the screen to choose your thing as well. I forgot to show that as well. I've been just using the D-pad. All right, here we go. Ridley boss music to start this out. And in case you don't realize, Kirby's got a gun. He is now officially more hardcore than he was before. <laughs> and yeah, we got a Chef Kawasaki here. And oh no, 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 I don't think so. You are not going to attack me with your spoon of death. No, it just ain't gonna happen. There we go. Your pan is also going down. Actually, that's a ladle, not a spoon. Well, I guess a ladle is a type of spoon because, you know, it scoops some stuff. No, don't let that hit you with the time bomb. Meat is the most dangerous of all things, apparently, in here. Oh my god, missile. Only have to shoot him once, but that's okay. No, I took care of it. Do not get yourself stunned. And again, I should be charging my shots to do more damage because it's a lot faster, actually. <laughs> There you go, get into the habit of not mashing the button and actually aiming PK Gam. You, you, can't, you can't do your propeller thingy with your broken ladle there, what are, you, what are you trying to do there? Are you trying to make a fool out of me? Because it's just not gonna happen, it's it just not. Anyway, oh, those pieces are left I guess, and I took care of its meat, no more meat issues, we are going vegetarian. And you'll notice that that uh, gauge at the upper right corner there. Why am I still shooting there? I killed the piece anyway. And <laughs> that gauge at the upper right corner there indicates how many pieces are left, essentially, that you have to break off the body. And it goes down every time you break off a piece. I didn't let that charge up enough. Oh, there's the W R. Oh wait, that's not. That's actually. That's not actually the W R. It's just a UFO enemy. Fish now. Evil fishy. Uh, I'm running low on time, messing around, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, must expose weak points. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I was really screwing around, around way too much on that one. But that is alright. It is still clear. The last one is by far the hardest one, but it's still not that hard. Yep, there's the last. Come on, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Last one, no failing. The ultimate war machine. <laughs> it quite su I mean, it's quite surprising the way it just jumps out at you like that. No, 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 no. And you also have to defend yourself a lot more than you did in the other one. So just be mindful of that. Just saying. Hey! Don't go out of my line of fire as well, and I don't recommend that you charge too much on this one, or at least I didn't have- Oh boy. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Did that hit anyone? Because that's that can sometimes hit him instead of me. You're going down, DDD! You're going down! Well, Robotic D. <laughs> we know that the King DDD in this game is on our side and helped us out, well, 
if we were playing multiplayer. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 oh yeah, feel the pain. I wonder, I think that that these pieces are just a lot tougher than in the other ones, that's why it's seemingly, seemingly like its health is going down a lot slower than in the other ones, maybe. Not sure, actually. I hope I have enough time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have enough time. I'm doing a pretty good job of picking off the pieces. I really hope. <laughs> Must destroy shoes. Birds should not wear shoes. They can't grab onto branches that way. As well as wires. Am I supposed to shoot at the hammer? Yeah, I'm supposed to shoot at the hammer. There we go. Always just attack the colored pieces, basically. Oh yeah! 24 seconds to full annihilation. Oh man, there's still four pieces left. Curses. Oh, stop getting... Oh my... Oh, wait, we... Oh, I just... I don't have to destroy all the pieces, apparently. Oh, I was a little worried about that. <laughs> Get ready. Heavy Lobster Music Remix! I guess now I have to destroy the rest of the pieces. <laughs> Stop getting your hammer up in my grill. Get that out of my way. What, was that all I had to do? Yes! <laughs> Needless to say, I've only played this once before as well. And that's how it's done. And that's also how I'm going to be ending off this part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Woo! Let me out of here.